Hi guys, this is FD for Sage5.tv once more back with another video and today we are going to look at a project by Bounce Finance. The project is Bounce Auction, an auction as a service crypto project. So guys, what I'm going to share within this video is not financial advice. Please seek someone who's trying to give you financial advice. The information contained in this video is just for educational as well as entertainment purposes. So let's jump straight into Bouncy Auction by Bounce Finance. An auction as a service project, Bouncy Finance or Bouncy Auction, I am going to be using those terms interchangeably is a fully decentralized auction platform which utilizes blockchain technology to offer auction as a service in a transparent and efficient manner through auction as a service enterprises and individuals can access a range of services such as user registration and verification that makes setting up digital auction simpler and more efficient bounce facilitates simplified auctioning bidding and buying process for web pre users bounce decentralized auctions offer the potential to solve all the issues associated with traditional auctions, opening up the way to a new type of auction, one that is transparent, trustless, secure, and immutable through blockchain technology. Web3 auctions are powered by smart contracts, which are self-executing with the terms agreed between buyer and seller written into tamper-proof code. In a major shift from traditional auctions, participants can also bid on assets using cryptocurrencies. This means anyone with an internet connection and a crypto wallet can take part regardless of their location or financial status. This opens up new opportunities for people to sell or bid on assets that may once have been out of reach. Since its September 2020 launch, Bouncy Finance has grown into one of the most popular decentralized auction platforms in Web3 ecosystem, which is a favorite for buyers and sellers alike within DeFi and NFT spaces. Some of the types of auctions from Bouncy Finance include fixed price auctions, English auctions, Dutch auctions, sealed bid auctions, random selection auctions, playable auctions, order book auctions, hold compete auctions, token and NFT auctions, Auctions, NFT auctions, real world collections auctions, real world collections NFTs. What about the products on offer? Well, you've got the token and NFT auction. Bouncy offers 10 different types of auctions on over 40 blockchains in a permissionless environment, allowing anyone to create and participate in a diverse range of auctions. Then there is real world collectibles auctions, which includes tangible collectibles, which can be minted into NFTs and then auctioned on blockchain through Bounce, bridging the gap between physical and digital assets. Key features of real-world collectibles auctions include the following. The tokenization of physical assets. This represents ownership rights to a physical asset in the form of a digital token which then allows the asset to be traded, bought, and sold in a decentralized, digitized manner on a blockchain network. The next feature of real-world collectible auctions is on-chain auction representation with bounce finance auction process of physical assets recorded and tracked on blockchain, providing a secure, transparent, and fair environment for these assets to be traded. We also have the authentication and warehouse services, where auctions of real goods begin by the seller sending the physical asset to a secure warehouse for authentication and ends with the warehouse sending the physical asset to the buyer once the on-chain trading is completed. NFT redemption, which involves the creation and trading of non-fungible tokens or NFTs for physical assets, which is a highlight feature of all real goods auction process. Now onto the next product on offer, which is advertising space auction. Bounce introduces an innovative marketplace for advertisers and publishers to buy and sell advertising space through decentralized auctions. Businesses can transform their advertising strategy with Bounce Finance's full suite of innovative solutions. The first one is the Ad Space Auction, which makes the following available. Advertising Auction Marketplace, and this is a one-stop marketplace for a variety of business advertising needs. Number two, we also have the Advertising Management Terminal, where the entire auction process is being recorded and managed on-chain. And then there are advertising plugins, which involves the seamless integration with websites to let developers choose their ideal advertising placement. And the fourth product available is software development kits or SDKs and plugins. These are tools for developers to build, configure, and launch their own auctions in just a few minutes. Builders and developers can experience the convenience and flexibility of customizing their very own auctions directly from their respective websites with minimal disruption while catering for their typical user experiences. The other use cases include a fully decentralized and community-governed protocol, which Bounce is and is governed exclusively by auction token holders. Auction, which is a UCTION, the ticker symbol for the Bounce token called Auction. How fitting. The auction token can be staked to passively earn rewards 
tokens and yield generated by bouncy ecosystem products. Bounce token holders are also able to unlock additional benefits of Bounce version 3 with premium account permission, and holders of the auction token can spend their tokens at a variety of different Bounce marketplaces from hiring and paying talent to purchasing in-game items within the Bouncy metaverse. So you can see Bouncy has got quite a bucket load of use cases for both its utility token as well as the underlying infrastructure. Now as part of our DYOR risk evaluation, we are going to apply our usual 13 elements which form part of our DYOR risk evaluation. And those 13 elements are as follows. You've got decentralization, security, scaling, interoperability, the project team, age of the project, project use cases, social media presence via Twitter as well as via Discord. And there are four areas we look into under tokenomics, which include maximum tokens available, whether there's a hard cap, tokens in circulation at the point of recording the video, token allocation to insiders, and so forth. So those are the 13 elements that form part of our DYOR risk evaluation. When we are trying to establish the risk level involved with investing into any of the crypto projects around today. So starting with decentralization, Bouncy Finance has grown into one of the most popular decentralized auction platforms within the Web3 ecosystem. Bouncy's Web3 auctions are powered by smart contracts, which means they are permissionless for Web3 users. Bouncy version 3 uses a hybrid infrastructure and that incorporates a centralized account management system as well as a decentralized application and tool access system. Users are able to log in and sign up for the platform with without a Web3 wallet using traditional methods such as logging in by email, the phone number, and so forth. Decentralized access is only needed when users decide to utilize the DeFi components of the Bouncy platform. The Bouncy team strongly believe that a hybrid infrastructure brings the benefits of traditional infrastructure and blockchain together, utilizing maximum user adoption and usage. As far as security is concerned, the Bounce decentralized governance system replaces the administrator system with community governance, allowing participants to suggest debate and implement changes to the platform without relying or requiring the team whatsoever. The protocol doesn't require users to divulge their personal information in order to access Web3 and DeFi applications. Instead, a user simply needs to connect a Web3 wallet to start using its features. Bounce Finance accepts a wide range of popular wallets including Metamask, Binance Chain Wallet, Wallet Connect, Coinbase, Ledger Wallet, and Trezor. The last two, Ledger Wallet and Trezor Wallets, they are called cold wallets because they are hardware wallets. As far as scaling is concerned, the Bounce Token Auction Protocol supports over-the-counter or OTC trading. OTC trading is popular among whale or major investors. The Bounce system makes it possible for parties to conduct these large trades in a trustless manner while remaining secure. This feature is a huge benefit for institutional investors as they can serve on their large trades moving forward. In addition, Bounce Auction is supported by a variety of blockchains including Ethereum, Polkadot, Solana, Binance Smart Chain, among others. Solana, Binance, and Polkadot are well known for their high transaction per second values or TPS values and extremely fast transaction finality. When it comes to interoperability, developers and users can easily create, issue, monitor, trade, and auction of their NFTs using the Bouncy Token Network. Currently, the system is compatible with Ethereum, Polkadot, Binance Smart Chain, Solana blockchains, and many more. This multi-chain approach enables users to connect any customized digital asset to the blockchain. Now, the the project team, we could not find any information on Bouncy Auction project team. One of our guys even tried to reach out to Bouncy Finance but are via Twitter, but I think their request is gone unanswered or is just been ignored. They probably think someone wants something, not here. We stand for ourselves. No freebies. Thank you very much. Social media presence. Via Twitter, Bouncy has got just over 78,900 followers and on Discord it appears Bouncy Finance does not have an official Discord channel or one that we could find. Even create created by members of the community. There it goes. When it comes to tokenomics, ticker symbol auction, like we said, a U-C-T-I-O-N auction. Total supply, 10 million, which is quite respectable. That's on the lower end. Circulating supply, 65% or 6.5 million tokens. Token distribution, 40% is allocated to ecosystem and incentives. 30% is allocated to the foundation. 20% is allocated to investors and 10% to the team. When it comes to insider token allocation, our analysis gives us 60 percent made up of the foundation allocation, investor allocation, and team allocation. That gives us 60 percent, which is still quite high. Why? Our threshold for insider token allocation is 30 percent. Anything above 30 percent, there has to be extenuating circumstances or the project is going to be very strong and it's got to real world use cases for us to even consider investing into the project. In terms of scoring, wait and
and see what scores we are going to allocate to bouncy finance bouncy auction project and there's no need to worry about insiders dumping the auction token on you as all tokens have now fully vested so any tokens that were yet to be introduced they are now all available but the insiders can still put them on the market at the moment only 65 percent are on the market the other 35 percent maybe those are the ones being reserved for rewards that could be and i believe the full vesting schedule was achieved in december 2022 which was last year anyway so as part of our dyo our risk evaluation we are going to apply 13 elements as part of our dyo our toolkit and a quick rundown of the 13 elements once again they got decentralization security scaling interoperability the project team social media presence via twitter as well as social media presence via discord we then look at the age of the project how old is it the use cases do we have any utility use cases for the project's utility token as well as the fundamental use cases what about the maximum tokens available do we have a hard cap as well as insider token allocation which we calculate according to the data that is publicly available once we have reviewed those 13 elements we will score them from 0 to 10 0 being the worst or the lowest and 10 being the best or the maximum and once the 13 elements have all been scored we then aggregate the total score which will take the total and it is the total that we classify under the following four risk categories the highest risk we call that no go category and the project will have scored 0 to 64 points out of 130 the level below the highest risk we call that could go to zero and the project will have scored 65 points to 89 points out of 130 we then have the potential category where a project will have scored 90 to 109 points out of 130 and the least risk category we call that go for a category and here a project will have scored 110 to 130 points out of 130 so let's find out how bounce finance and the bounce auction have done according to our dyo our risk evaluation toolkit on decentralization 5 points out of 10 on security 5 points out of 10 interoperability 10 points scaling seven and a half points project team two and a half points social media present via twitter seven and a half points social media via discord we could not find any information zero points out of ten age of the project five points out of ten use cases ten points out of ten why because i believe bounce finance is one of the few projects with real world use cases that are actually in operation tokens issued at project launch five points out of ten tokens in circulation at the point of recording five points out of ten maximum tokens available at 10 million bounce finance is on the lower end and we are going to give it 10 points out of 10 insider token allocation zero points because the insider token allocation is at least 60 percent therefore we are going to give bouncy finance or bouncy auction zero points out of 10 which gives us an aggregate score of 72.5 points out of 130 now do you guys agree with some of the scores we've allocated to bouncy finance let us know in the comment section if you were to allocate your own scores from zero to ten to these 13 elements according to your own description because our own description for these 13 elements are guided by our own investing thesis you look at these and apply your own meaning to each of these 13 elements and what each parameter should be what scores would you proceed and give them let us know in the comment section as far as the bounce finance is concerned and the bounce token the auction token i currently do not hold the auction token will i be investing in bounce finance most likely you know you can't invest in all the projects it could have been one of the projects i chose to invest in either as part of my private portfolio or as part of our public portfolio the two public portfolios will wait for the next opportunity but yes bounce finance and the auction token is one project we will be considering in investing in the near future what are your thoughts how about you what do you think do you hold bounce finance auction token let us know in the comment section until next time guys this is fd 465tv with a brief review of bouncy finance bouncy auction and auction token until next time bye for now